So check this out. It turns out you actually can have an isolated Pina OORAM database. And all you have to do is create a new Pina store. So Quasar actually does this for you by default. I think it's got like a, hang on, let me check what this looks like. Um, if you go to stores, index. So here's the Pina store you get by default. And notice that we say here, create Pina. What it does is use repo automatically finds the first Pina store that was created. But you can actually run this code and create your own Pina store. I'll show you what it looks like. So I can just say isolated Pina. I might even say isolated Pina store. And by isolated, I just mean like a new one. Let's just create an, a whole new store. Let's create a whole new Pina um, for this component here. So then when we say use repo, rather than just passing through to do, so usually it looks like this, where you just pass through to do, we also tell it the Pina store. It turns out use repo has that option. If you hover over it, you can see you can actually pass it its own Pina store. So now anything that goes into this repo is going to be using this Pina store. Now, since I'm running this component twice, here's the first one and then the second one. The first one creates a Pina store. And then the second one creates a Pina store. So they're both using their own Pina store. And then from then on, all you have to do is something like this. Test. You just insert everything into the store and they're completely isolated. And I'm not doing any filtering here for this to work. Look, all I'm doing is saying repo.or. But that repo is using the isolated Pina store. How cool is that?